In this video, I'm sharing the best free apps and utilities that are on my MacBook Pro. Now, as you know, I'm a student, but I usually have a lot of projects going on. So I've broken up these apps and utilities into three categories, productivity, creativity, and utility. Be sure to check the timestamps down in the description and let's start with productivity. So the first app is called Be Focused. And essentially this is just a Pomodoro timer that is baked into like that top bar of your MacBook. And this is really useful because it's just a simple Pomodoro timer that helps you get focused with your work and it's very easily accessible. I use it all the time when I'm studying and it's super clutch. The second app is Todoist. And honestly, this is what I use to keep track of everything, whether it be just a brain dump of whatever I have to do that day to planning out specific projects. Todoist is where I put everything because it's clean, it's simple, and it works. I also prefer the way that it gives me notifications over Apple's reminders. Otherwise, I would have been using that, but more on that in a future video. Now, the third app is probably one that you expected because it is is of course Notion. And Notion is something that, as you guys know, is something that I use for everything, whether it be YouTube videos, school, other side projects that I'm working on. Notion can really do everything. And if you're interested in seeing a video on how I specifically use Notion for school, be sure to check out this video here. And if you want to see a future video on how I use Notion as a small content creator, I'll be sure to be making that in the future. The second category of apps and utilities is creativity. So the first app is my video editor of choice, which is Final Cut Pro X. And I know what you're thinking. This is supposed to be a list of free apps. Final Cut Pro is free. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, stick around to the end of the video. The second app in the creativity category is Photoscape X. And this is honestly because I, I can't afford Photoshop. So yeah, it's really simple and easy to use. And it does everything that I need to do for quickly editing photos and thumbnails. And the final app for this category is Audacity. And I've mainly started using Audacity for editing my podcast. If you don't know, um, I have a podcast with a good friend of mine where we talk about what it's like being a student during this pandemic and just talk about our experiences, tips that we've picked up along the way, advice and everything in between. So if you're interested, if you're a student, be sure to check it out in the link in the description description. And finally comes utility. And the first thing that's on my MacBook Pro is actually literally on my MacBook Pro. So on my MacBook itself is this blue light screen protector from the company OcuShield. And I really like the screen protector because it does three key things for me. Firstly, it protects the screen, whether it be closing your laptop down on something by accident or even bumping into it. I know that I'm covered because of this screen protector. Secondly is the protection from blue light. Now, if you don't know, blue light essentially just messes up your sleep schedule if you're staring at screens a lot, which we all of course are doing. And it also isn't really that good for your eyes either. So having this blue light protection really makes me more confident. Obviously the best case scenario would just be don't stare at your screens, but Basically, this just gives you confidence when staring at your screens because you know that you at least have that layer of protection. And finally, this last thing is really cool, especially considering I'm going off to university and I'm going to be sitting in lecture halls with like hundreds of other students. But essentially, the screen protector itself has a privacy mode. So you can see as I turn it, you can't actually see what's on the screen. And this is going to be super convenient for me um, when I'm sitting in lectures, taking notes, you know, I don't want people staring at my screen. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. So when you're staring directly at the screen, everything's clear, everything is fine. You probably can't tell because of the camera right now, but as soon as you begin turning away, you can't really see anything on the screen. It's pretty amazing. These key three things is why I really like the screen protector because it does all these different important things in one package. It's super convenient. Number two is spectacle. And if you have a Mac, you know how annoying it is to arrange and organize your tabs while they're on your screen. And basically this is just a free uh, tab organizer that very easily lets you do it because for some reason, Mac just doesn't want to do it natively. It's super easy to use. And once you have all the key combinations memorized, which aren't a lot, by the way, uh, it just makes you so much more productive on your Mac. The third app is Disk Inventory X. Now, if you're a student or if you're just buying a Mac on a budget, then you're probably not going for those higher storage capacities and going for really the base model. This app is an actual game changer if you're running low on storage because it gives you this clear view of where your storage is actually going and it makes it so easy to address what is actually taking up storage so that you can quickly get rid of it and regain that storage on your machine. Number four is a utility called Alfred because spotlight is shit. 
Alfred lets you do so much more than Spotlight, whether it be calculations, finding files, searching things on the web or YouTube or whatever other website it supports. It, it's so powerful and makes you so productive. And finally is a utility that every person should have, and that is Hotspot Shield VPN, which is not a sponsor. Don't worry, they're not sponsoring me. Um, they're just a free VPN. And honestly, it lets me use Instagram in my school. So. Yay. So those are all the apps and tools that are on my MacBook Pro, but if there's something that maybe I don't know about that you have, be sure to leave that in the comments. And just like any of these apps could provide you a lot of value, if this video has provided you any value, it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribed if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way, so hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss them. I'm Matt. And thanks for watching. All right, so if you've made it here, then you want to get Final Cut Pro X for free. This is how you do it. First, you go to the Apple website. You then find the free trial for Final Cut Pro X. You sign up with your iCloud or your email, whatever it is. You download it, you install it, you go through all that process, and then you start using it. And it's going to say that you have either 90 days, 60 days, maybe even 30 days. And you're just going to use it for that period of time. Then once that period comes to an end, it's going to say that you have zero days left. What you want to do before that happens is you want to go and you want to set your date and time to the time period that you downloaded it. And then after that, when you open it, it's going to be able to use it and it's going to say however many days it has left before it expires. Whenever you want to use Final Cut Pro X, just make sure you do that to your date and time. And then as soon as you open it, you can reset your date and time. And that's all you have to do. I just basically saved you $300 to $500. So you better be liking this video.